Jane today. Um, Riona's been doing some brilliant reflecting on her learning and she's going to be sharing some of her achievements and some of the learning goals mm -hmm. that she's working towards. So if we start with literacy, would you like to share some of your, some of your achievements in your literacy book that you're most proud of? I'm, I'm proud of this piece of work because I learned all the parts of a newspaper. Mm -hmm. We had the introduction, mm -hmm. the main part, the quotes and the summary. I think it was okay. I showed some of my literacy learning and my maths, and I showed them my reading, writing, and maths targets. Look closer, and you can see the turtles are bigger than they look. Okay. Uh, so this did, one. So did you notice this about the picture yourself, or did somebody tell you? Or you noticed it, and um, that's well, why you I, thought people should read well, it? Well, I typed in Galapagos Island turtles. I can ask any of them to help me with my targets. I would just say, could you help me with my reading target? Then they would know immediately what I'm talking about it, instead of me explaining everything. And then they won't get the whole point because um, I don't have my work in front of me. And would you like to share your target with your mom and dad? Yes. My writing target is, can I use capital letters and full stops correctly in most of my writing? It was refreshing. I missed the conference last year, so for me it's a first, and I really liked it. Perhaps when a teacher actually able to walk us through what they've been doing and how the different pieces of homework all relate to each other through a number of different subject areas, and a chance for Prachar to go around the room and show us a few things that he and his classmates have created. So it was a very nice opportunity that we enjoyed very much. It brings us into their world, and I really appreciate that. And it's a great sense of accomplishment for the kids, and it's, it's reassuring, because I like it, because they can tell me, well, this is how I approached it, this is what I did. It's been a really good experience. The uh, sort of spectrum of work that they're doing at the moment and the level of work that they're doing just demonstrates you know, how busy they are at school. And so when they do come home absolutely shattered, you actually realise now you know, why that is. <laughs> what I might do at the Freeway Conference. This is going to be my first Freeway Conference ever and I'm very excited. I'm excited because I cannot wait to show my mom and dad the learning I have done so far. I've already picked my three favorite things and I'm going to talk about them as the first three things. I think we do freeway conferences because it helps us to get more confident at explaining our learning. I also think we do freeway conferences because when we are confident we display our learning more to teachers and other people instead of just their moms and dads. Can you tell mommy and daddy why you're so proud of this piece of learning? At the beginning of the year, I didn't really like to write that much. We really, you know, see it from his perspective and see that he's actually, you know, been able to reflect on what he's done and really take that learning to a next level. And what would you do differently um, to make this better in the future? Uh, I would use the presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And use more adjectives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would you improve on the presentation? I would like make my tall letters tall and small letters small. Mm -hmm. And also use clear spaces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. We learned during the three-way conference that he will not simply be following some strict curriculum where uh, everybody is doing the same thing. Uh, we, we find that he always were given extra lessons or extra problems to work on. So that is definitely pushing him towards uh, reaching his full potential. I think the three-way conferences are better than the program in my last school because, because they, they were like, we had to go be with a group and I didn't get much chance to speak to the teacher. This writing showed that I have achieved level five punctuation. I think the three-way conference today went really well because my mom and dad got to see what I learned and also what my targets are so they can help push me forward at home. A target might be that I can improve my tense sometimes, like I might get confused with the present or past tense. It's good for a student to um, set uh, every target for himself. So, yeah, this is support for the um, independent learner. 
for me, something that I might struggle with sometimes is linking the paragraph together. So it's like fluently reading it and creating a lot of effect. We have been focusing on different type of sentences, but for for this writing, in at that time we were focusing on um, sandwich sentences, which is when well, you're adding an extra chunk and it's like surrounded by commas. This one is Jake, an unmatured, spoiled brat, was a total pain, pain to his parents. That's like an opening sentence to the paragraph. So it's um, really good that Fresh has now applied this to his writing to show that he really understands it. We had to demonstrate um, how you do um, a written method for addition. If I wasn't here, um, I wouldn't be able to show my mom what I've really done because it's me who done it, not my teacher. So I would like to um, present my work. I normally use the column method and I'm used to it. Fantastic. Hey, would you like to ask him a question? I think it really helped the children to improve themselves and also take the responsibility by themselves. It will help the kids gradually to build up their self-confidence. So I can use this method, this written method, for my um, target. I think the Freeway Conference has helped me by becoming, making me become more of a thinker so I can think about how to express my ideas. I don't really like to talk about what I need to improve, um, so I had to do that quite a lot today. At the start, I was a little bit shy without mum and dad, but I'm not shy anymore. It's a really good piece of writing with all of the things that we talked about, but what things can you still get better at? Things I can get better at. Mm -hmm. So starting sentences in different ways. So can you give us an example? Uh, you are this writer just Sally Diego. Uh, it's the, 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 although, the, <laughs> I love those. So, so how can you make it better? Oh, by using different openers like when, although, I can use that a little bit more. Uh, if, when, not too many those. Because there's like those everywhere on the sheet. Like the, the. At least I start these with what and why. Okay. Super. Well done, Diego. You explained that really nicely. Yeah, the conference are quite revealing because uh, you hear them talk about uh, a reflection on learning and that's amazing it's just not for granted it's not something they do because they have to they also think about the learning process and that's uh, very interesting if I compare it to a North American uh, parent-teacher conference it's it's a more a top-down approach and I feel Patana has more of a real bottom-up approach it's the the child that's in the lead and it's not the the teacher is more acting like a coach and trying to draw out uh, the questions about where the child is in their development and sort of what they need to focus on for the for the future. I think if the learning targets had come from him, he will probably put in a lot more effort to make sure that he achieved the targets. Okay, Ari, would you like to tell us about this piece of learning? This is when I made my own newsflash for TV. It was nice to see through the eyes of your child. That was nicer than the teacher telling us where she was at, where she was meant to go. And, you know, I'm not sure whether she, the child took that much of a part in that process. In the house as well as in the school, they are encouraged to speak, speak their mind, whatever they believe in. And I think that's fantastic. Because at the end of the day, it's rights of for all. And I'm, we firmly believe in children's rights as well. And I think they should be allowed that space in this whole negotiation process so that they can also pick up their beats, not what we believe right to them, but what they believe are right to them as, as well. The focus has moved a lot from the teacher giving their impression of the child um, and perhaps also a focus more on behavioural issues. And um, it puts the focus back on the child and their learning and the way that we can help them learn, which is a much more positive outlook. First of all, importing the videos and photos with Mr. O'Donnell and then with Mr. Mac 
putting them into the video maker and then with somebody's name who I can't remember, we green screen them to make it look like we were in half kitchen, half science lab and in the blue Peter news. So when you had your the report done, what did you then do with it? Wrote a newspaper article. The direction of which the discussions take really comes down to the the students' abilities and what they want to talk about or, or issues that they feel are they're more comfortable about or I guess proud about uh, in a non-confronting forum. So I think that that uh, comes back to the whole independent learning uh, concept which uh, is promoted uh, at Bangkok Patent School. Which tense do you use for the past, 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 future? future. Okay. Did you like this activity, Arda, when you are doing this? The yes. interview, the green screen? Yes. Would you change anything the way you did this? If you were shooting the, the video or if the way you were writing this? For the video, I would speak louder because I could barely hear myself. It sounded like nothing unless I turned the volume really high. And for and this, this, I yeah. would write in a more consistent style. Right, because oh, okay. that's something we actually encourage them to do with each piece of their learning. They actually go back and reflect on it and think about ways to improve next time. Okay. So, okay. yeah, it's a really good skill for them to be able to do. If I had more time, I would show my mom the group working that me and my friends did. We put all the work, homework we did in the shed area so we can maybe go out there and show them the three-way conference. I think three-way conference is a great way of seeing your education. I think it should continue for the, like, the rest of the year.